Welcome to the Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we have a special guest. He should be on our surf team, but he actually has an official title. Uh, Jason Forrest, our Director of Resort Operations, which sounds very, very official. We're going to boil that down to when you come surf with us, Jason's in charge of you having a good time. Right? Would that be an accurate description? I'd say that's pretty accurate. All right, good. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> let's jump accurate. into yeah. the JS Red Baron. Uh, Jason has been riding this board. First of all, uh, Jason, your height, your weight, and the board that you're riding, uh, dimensions and volume. Um, I'm 5'8", 158, 160 pounds. Um, this one's 5'4", 23 quarters, 2 and 3 eighths, 29.9, so 30 liters. Right at that perfect summer volume for me. All right. That's right where I like to be for the summer gravel board. Great, awesome. So I, I, I remember you picking this thing up like right at the beginning of summer as we're yep. tapering out of uh, yep. spring surf and into uh -huh. like our endless one to three. Correct. You know that we kind of had all summer or Correct. two to three that we yep. had all summer. Yep. Uh, tell us about the ride. Um, I've ridden this thing a ton. Uh, you know, it's been in my car all summer. I've taken it out in a variety of conditions. Um, but like you said, mostly in you know waves in this height range, uh -huh. everything from mushy, crumbly waves to top to bottom, uh, you know, like we get these knee-high barrels, yeah, you know, yeah, just right. And um, from the very beginning, I was super impressed with this board. Um, you know, last summer I had the Firewire Seaside, and I didn't think you could improve upon that. And this one, in my opinion, is a step towards the performance end of that type of board. It surfs more like a shortboard, like I've found transitioning. From this board to my shortboard is very easy. Like it, okay. it rail to rail surfs, top to bottom surfs, uh, much more like a shortboard than a, you know, twin fin keel fish. What about like? Uh, so that's actually good to hear because a lot of times when people are talking about fish, they're talking about once they get on them, they have a hard time getting yeah, off of them. Not just the case it, with this one because they go to the shortboard and it's like it's just all feels yeah. weird. Yeah. So yeah, I think I mean. I, I mean, I think JS is known for like a high performance board. Yeah. And so I, I wasn't sure what to expect out of this because I never had a JS. And it definitely fit into that realm of like, this is built by shoreboarders for shoreboarders for performance oriented surf in small waves. Okay. All right. Did so let's talk about uh, construction. It's a stringerless EPS epoxy construction. It's obviously light. It's crazy light. It's crazy light. And I, obviously that is a big advantage of its performance. Right. Know, or one of the reasons why it surfs so well is because it's so light. I will admit to quickly putting this front pad on okay. because the glass is so light that I was getting some pretty serious heel and toe dings. Now that I've gone front pad in the summer, I will never go back to wax in the summer. <laughs> yeah, no, because I'm looking at this thing and it doesn't have your typical like, no. like end of yeah. summer ugly wax set up. You don't on, even you need know? wax, you know? I mean, you could put wax up here, but my foot's not going up there. <laughs> right. And then what about uh, the twin fin setup? What were you riding uh, for fins? Yeah, for the fins, so the one I got is in the FCS2 setup. So um, you could only get, you couldn't get the MFC fins that were custom made for these, which we have yep. to, to compare. So I got the Christensen keels. Okay. And I compared them side by side. We have them here and we can look at them. You can compare them side by side and they're super similar. I'd say the big difference would be that the, um, MFC ones are, you know, the carbon and the Christensen ones are fiberglass, but they're, they're really similar and uh, yeah, they're stoked on the fins for sure. So yeah. yeah, looking at these fins, they're about the same size. So it's that the, uh, the MFC has got a little bit more scallop on the, yeah. on the trailing edge are cut down in a little bit. So you're losing a little bit of area, maybe loosen up the fin just a little bit. And yeah. I would also think with the carbon, it's a little bit stiffer. Yeah, it may be a little as lighter. Well. And with the board being so light, I think that fin is a little lighter and maybe that makes a difference, but I've been- It is lighter actually. Yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. totally satisfied with it. Um, I'd say if you have the opportunity to get it in the futures and you can get the MFCs, get them. Obviously they're made for the board, but yep. if you, like I got this one because this is the size I wanted and it was in FCS and I don't see a negative to having the other fin set, set up in so it. So looking at this board, I mean, if you were surfing this thing a lot, this thing's still holding, holding together. Yeah. Uh, what did you think? You know, a lot of times people think fish, they think classic poly. You know, like having the EPS epoxy and having it be light, you know, for the maneuverability yeah. obviously is a good thing. But what about like in uh, wind or in bump? I mean, we only ever have waves with wind here. Right? <laughs> you know, I guess it's pretty rare that we have those really calm days. So it surfs fine. I mean, it's, it's a light performance oriented board. So it surfs at a very high level. Okay. I mean, I've never had a twin fin where I've like backside blown the fins out and like 
still rode away. You know, I've had traditional t twin keel fins, fishes that are just kind of fun down the line and roundhouses and stuff. Yep. But this, I feel like you can do much more aggressive surfing on this board than uh, a traditional twin. I've been super, I've been over the moon psyched on this board. Awesome. Yeah, sold awesome. one to a guy out of the shop the other day. He came back the next day to tell us how sick it was. Did you know that? Yeah, that's great. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. So that is the uh, Jason. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, that is the JS Red Baron. If anybody out there has any questions on the Red Baron or would like to order one, you can always call us at the shop 252-987-6000 or look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.